Hey guys, it's Nurse Gwenny. Let's talk about patients in respiratory failure. We're going to break it down into two types of respiratory failure, and it's important to know each type because our interventions, our approach to treating that patient vary based on what type of respiratory failure. We have hypoxic respiratory failure, and this is going to be because patients have a restrictive pathology. They cannot get oxygen into and down into the alveoli to diffuse across that alveolar capillary membrane. That can be something like acute pulmonary edema. Oxygen can't get through those alveoli because they're full of pulmonary edema. Things like pneumonia, things like uh, a tension pneumothorax because the alveoli can't expand and comply with that breath. And the treatment there is going to be PEEP and FiO2. Those are the two things that are going to help with hypoxic respiratory failure. The other delineation of types of respiratory failure are going to be hy hypercarbic or an obstructive pathology, meaning we can't move air in and out of the lung to make room for new air coming in, such as COPD and our asthma patients. And what we're going to do with those patients is minute ventilation. What are our two components that make up minute ventilation? Think of it like the area of a square. It's our rate times our depth. So those patients um, need, uh, they need ventilatory support, which if you're doing that non-invasive is going to be BiPAP. And if you're intubating these patients, it's just going to be their ventilatory support to help them move air out and make room for new air in. Now, this is like, 1% of 1% of the information we need to know about respiratory failure. Uh, so dive into the books, go find other videos and learn more about it. But this is just a 10,000 foot view.